Does the Galaxy A55 5G compare to the almost flagship S23 Fe? And which should you really spend your money on? I'm going to help you find out. And so without taking much of your time, let's get started. In terms of design, nothing separates both smartphones apart from their size. The Galaxy S23 Fe is noticeably smaller than the A55, and it is comparable in size to a standard small to medium smartphone wallet. It boasts a sleek design, a glass back protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5, and an aluminum frame. The S23 Fe has an IP68 rating, meaning it can withstand dust and water like the big boys. On the other hand, the Galaxy A55 is slightly larger than the S23 Fe. It also sports a glass back, but with an aluminum frame too. But this time, it's IP67 rated, offering good dust and water resistance. Some similarities include featuring in display fingerprint scanners for convenient and secure unlocking. They maintain the same optical types which are not the fastest, but get the job done. These smartphones feel sturdy and premium in the hand if you ask me. And the most notable difference about the design would include the size, which are kind of flat on the A55, but well-rounded on the S23 Fe. Also, you a better front glass with the A55, which is Gorilla Glass Victus Plus, but same Gorilla Glass 5 as the back on the Fe. Another difference to point out is that while you get a dual SIM, the hybrid type where you can use two SIMs or a SIM and a micro SD card to expand your storage on the A55, you're stuck with whatever memory option you get while purchasing the S23 Fe. There is no means for storage expansion. Keep that in mind if you be going that route. Now. The numbers would have the A55 at 6.6, 2340 by 1080 resolution, and 1000 nits of brightness. The FE is 6.4, the same resolution, meaning more pixel density and about 1415 nits as far as peak brightness. Both have 120 Hz refresh rates and are AMOLED. Although the better dynamic AMOLED 2X can be found on the Fe, you'd get the Super AMOLED on the A55. If I'm being totally honest with you, I'm not sure many people can tell the difference between these devices. The Galaxy S23 Fe and the Galaxy A55 are powered by capable hardware configurations designed to deliver smooth performance and seamless multitasking. Depending on the region, the Galaxy S23 Fe has the Samsung or Qualcomm chipset. If you are in the US, you would get the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, but the international offering is the Exynos 2200, which is also 4NM as the other. The Galaxy A55 is no slouch regarding performance, thanks to its mid-range chipset the Exynos 1480, which is also a good processor. Both of these devices have triple camera setups at their rear. Both have 50MP main sensors, 12MP ultra-wide. While the Fe goes with an 8MP telephoto lens, you get a 5MP macro lens for the A55. Over to the front, you get a 32MP front-facing camera on the A55 and a 10MP sensor on the Fe. Regarding battery life, both devices offer all-day endurance because of their sizable battery capacities and optimized power management features. The S23 Fe has 4,500 ma, and the A55 has a bigger 5,000 ma. Both charge relatively fast at up to 25 watt speeds, so you won't have to wait forever to get back in action. If you are going to get these smartphones brand new, 
then you might want to consider the A55 as it's the best from the A lineup with really good features. Also less expensive than the S23 Fe. But if you can look past getting a new S23 Fe, then it's the better device to own. A better performer and has some benefits as far as looking and feeling more like a flagship device. So guys, what do you think about both phones? Let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next one.